Okay, so with this, I'm gonna come in here. I think you can see these uh, colors that mix in. I'll do the brown, and the, the biggest thing that's gonna happen with this is that it's gonna be able to show up um, because of contrast. So you gotta figure, okay, I gotta make it darker, quite a bit darker on one side, and that's gonna be by uh, maybe raw umber, burnt sienna, and black. That'll be the base. So here on the shadow side, I'm gonna go pretty dang dark. Just like before, so I'm just blocking it out right now. A little magenta in there, stands out a little bit. In the shadows, you could even use like a tint of it. So really, the dirt around it is technically the same color as a rock, just it hasn't broken down as much. Um, so all this is the base coat. Way too orange right there. I don't care though, it's not my project. Just getting in here, orange, orange. <clears throat> all just kind of sculpting it out. <clears throat> getting a basic structure only. And over here, same thing. Okay. Then after you have that, those like like orange things fell from like space or something. Maybe they're Martian rocks. Okay, so then I could take a tint of it and for highlights, if you use like a little bit of yellow ochre to put in the orange, it'll be a little bit better. Um, so I'll start putting that in there as well. Except and change brushes. I'll go to a round brush. If you had a really small bright brush, um, that would be better. But this works out pretty well. Okay, so a little yellow ochre, a little white. Don't go over this, but when I do, I'm aware of the brush strokes. So in other words, I'll let some of the shadows show through. I don't know if you can see that that well or not, but come in here, going across, and to make that uh, the edge more distinct, I'll go like a really hard edge difference between the highlight side and the shadow side. Um, this is all, so while I have that color, I might as well come over here and do the same thing on this side and the top, but have some of the orange show through so it's not just solid. Um, then on the back side, I'll do a little bit of this as one layer. Then I'll go over it with the browns. So unlike painting the other kind of rocks, these are gonna be more like, uh, more angled, more like the cliffs. Now I'm going over that with a little bit of a glaze. And there's more layers doing this technique too. I'll block that off a little bit. And I'll have the top of this come up a little bit higher. More visible. So I'll even have it come up here and then down. And on the top part, it's going to be the lightest where the sun's hitting it. Add a little more water to it. And the world starts looking better when we start adding the cracks later. So the top part's kind of smooth there. You might want to roughen that up a little bit. Another rock on this side. So then, once you have that, those highlights down, uh, you got a motor around, you can add highlights to all of them. I'll go even brighter here a little bit. Indicate it for contrast. And over here, I haven't finished that rock or did a base coat, but I can still add the highlight in already. Okay, then once you have these structures kind of going on there with it, um, the rock, so like this, add are almost the same color. Oh, it froze. All right, hopefully it'll catch up soon. Otherwise, I'll have to describe what I'm painting. Not a big fan of my document camera, gotta be honest. Okay. Right now, even though you can't see it, I'm adding cool little drop shadows with raw umber and black. And if my camera wakes up, you'll be able to see it. All right, so now for the contrast, I added like the dark, let's write down dark, raw, umber, and black for the shadows underneath the rocks. And those vary. That'll make it stand out quite a bit more. I'll even do like a little bit of a cast shadow into the dirt. I'll use my finger to tap it out. I 
I thought I figured out a way to uh, wake this thing back up again, but maybe not. All right, I will hold it up to the camera when I'm done with this thing. Now I'm doing the uh, burnt umber on the other one. Having that go on the other side. Same thing with these back rock round rocks. So the shadows are a little bit elongated, but showing a light source, the shadows will really help. All right, so now I'm doing that. Same thing over here. Okay, now, even though I can't see it. Wait, maybe I'll angle it down on my laptop. No. All right, so now that that part's done, hopefully the camera wakes up anytime now. Um, just like the last one, you did see the last rock show, so then uh, now I'm adding the cracks to it. Very similar techniques, um, except more like striations of cracks rather than being rounded. Um, they're gonna follow the layers of the sedimentary rock. And sort of going in perspective. All right, so now I'll add a little more white on the bottom of the, the cracks. A little highlight, even on the shadow side. And I'll tap that out. And same thing on the side. Okay, 